This is the circuit that I'm using to discover what a diac's all about. You can see the wire wound resistor at the bottom right, 4.7k ohms. And then to the left of that, you can see that large capacitor. That's a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor and then continuing left of the wire wound resistor that thing that looks like a diode that's the diac then above that you can see two resistors in parallel 100 ohms so that makes 50 ohms there here's a side view of that circuit and this is a close-up of the DIAC. With a digital meter and an analog meter, I read infinite ohms in both directions. And this is the symbol for a DIAC. And this is the wiring diagram of this circuit. I did take some measurements, AC measurements, across some of the components and this is the results across the DIAC the DB3 I have a little bit over 23 volts then across the 50 ohm load I have a little bit more than 1.4 volts and then from the DIAC to the other side of the AC or if you look closely that's actually across the dot one microfarad capacitor it reads a little bit more than 25 volts I have hooked up the oscilloscope across the 50 ohm load and this is what the trace looks like This is the trace across that 50 ohm load. Now I'm going to short out the DIAC and of course we'll see the sine wave across that 50 ohm load. I have captured the trace across that 50 ohm resistor and remember we've got 1.455 volts across that resistor and at this point the DIAC has not fired it's off and at this point it's on and note the polarity of the AC as we go through these points. Here it's off. It's still off. Now it's on. I'm sure you've noticed that there's more information in this trace. Here I have lowered the gain on the oscilloscope so I can get all that information in this picture. What those other wide faint lines are is capacitance of the DIAC. I mentioned that this is a very high impedance device and I put it on my capacitor meter and it read 15.2 picofarads. Now I'm going to go through the sequence of what's going on in this circuit, putting 
the capacitance in view. You can see how much information you would miss if you only used a volt ohm meter. Thanks for watching.